Hello everybody and welcome once again to Pneumatograph Repressurized for Minecraft 1.15. Today we're going to uh, have a, a little look at um, mystical agriculture again. We want to make some more seeds and I would also like to start with some automation of the Pneumatograph itself to control it so it doesn't burn everything up. So let's get started. So the first thing I'd like to look at is crop supports. Crop supports are a bit on the expensive side in terms of iron but the recipe is fairly easy. Four compressed iron will make these crop supports. And then when you place on dirt, will improve the growth speed of crops and trees. So we're going to use these to start with um, to make things grow a little bit faster. I've got two. I've got one here and I've got one in the chest at the back. And what I'm going to do is put these onto these two seeds here. These two seeds are fire seeds in this case, and this is a stone seed. And that's a way to make flint. Um, I'll go and get the other one. I'll be back in a second or two. So I've put this down. Every once in a while you'll see a growth tick like that. And it does make the crops grow slightly faster. As you can see here, I've got uh, these four which I've been testing. They generally grow up faster, but they're a little bit tricky to, to hit. So when you want to hit them, you see the box here, you have to click it and then get it in like this. And I've actually got two seeds from that one this time, so it's just good because I'm going to plant the other ones. And to plant them as well, you have to hit the box at the side here like that. And it creates a block. Pick up this and we'll go over here we'll plant the other seed down over here as you'll see I've, we're going to do some harvesting drones today I hope and we're also going to extend this I keep extending this as I go along so we'll put down this seed here but first of all we want to put down the, the essence we've got some inferior essence here and then that'll grow up I'm going to let the harvester harvest these things up so we're going to do a harvest drone and an item collector um, because we need a lot of brilliantium, uh, insanium, no, we need a lot of inferior essence to start with. So let's get on and have a look at doing the drones. I've got some stuff here prepared for some more seeds. So what I would like to do is um, make a gold seed today and also upgrade the watering can. So we can upgrade the watering can two levels and we'll do the first level today, I think. Um, but we'll also make the gold seed. So we need one of these for the gold seed, and we need four of these plus. I'm going to use four of those plus one Imperium Essence to make the ground. So let's um, start doing that. That's over this side. It's always the same process with the seeds, with the exception of the animal seeds. Uh, they're a bit slightly different. So we we'll want to move that out of hand here. Let's put these down here like that. Let's put the seed in the middle. Let's get the gold into place and then we put the uh, Imperium Essence on the ordinal directions as we've done before and then we're going to put the gold in here. And right, click the button and then we should get our gold seed. Just like that. So we're going to go and plant this on some farmland. Now one thing you can't do with the farmland if it's already got um, an essence in it like these have you can't use it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it down here on this this spot sometimes when you break it you'll get you'll get it back again and sometimes you won't so there we've got our gold seed in there so the next thing we're going to do is upgrade the watering can now there's two recipes for that the watering can I need one diamond I've got it already we need these and we need some um, not sure what actually let's have a look at the watering let's have a look at use of this so we need some four inferium ingots to upgrade this and then these mystical fertilizer so we need to make the mystical fertilizer we use this recipe because this is the you get double quantities for your diamonds we'll do these ones we're assuming the diamond is more hard to find than the um than the essence which it is so we've got that one and then we need to do the in I I think, did I prepare that? Yes I did, I got two Imperium, actually those are for something else. So we need some of these and then we need some Imperium Essence and we need some Prosperity Shards. So let's quickly make these into some ingots. We should get 8 times 6, 48. And then we want to do, put two of those in the middle and then put the Prosperity Shards around it. Like this and across. And then with these two, all we need to do is to take this one and craft it like that. And then we get our two ingots. Oh, I need to do two, don't I? So now we can do the uses of this. 
and then we can what are we missing oh I need four ingots sorry that's uh, missed oh no problem now we have enough oops actually that'll do this time we've got a four but while I'm thinking about this we might as well make some uh, prudentium essence as well don't have enough to do very much just for two but we need a lot more than that so we'll get that and um, harvest it up next i think so now we can make this watering can now we should be able to uh, do the uses of this and then upgrade it so then we have an inferior watering can which is an area of three by three the, the base one does as well three by three but this has one slight difference first of all you fill it up like that and then it's filled and then you can shift right click it then it starts to glow and as soon as it's glowing you can just basically stand here like this without having to press any buttons and let everything um, grow and the higher level you go the faster things will grow there's another the next thing we're going to do is have a look at um, the inferior fertilizer or the growth accelerator so that's how you do that you don't want it you don't want it on all the time just move it out of your hand like that so let's have a look at mystical agriculture And then you'll see here we have the growth accelerators the farmlands are here here are the accelerators so basically this is one diamond plus some inferior essence and some stone i think just just ordinary stone will do i'm not sure if you have to use polished stone or sort of stone. we'll find out um so let's make one of those and what they do is then and this one here is inferior gemstone so we need a a diamond with four prosperity shards. I was going to have a look at what the use of this one is at our. In fact, where is it gone to? Inferior blocks. I have difficulty seeing this one. Let's have a look at accelerator. There we go. So the recipe for this one, for instance, is to do the next level. You can't convert the two different ones, which is a shame. So let's have a look at. Um, well, it's either doing this. I'm not sure which is the best to do. Maybe we make the Bredentium one. I, this says it's got a growth range of 12 above it, which would actually be sufficient to do a reasonable amount of area for what we want. And you can stack these as well. Actually, before I do anything else, let's do one more thing I've forgotten to do. Um, I've got some books. I made up some books, as you'll see. I've got some um, sweet... Um, got some sugar cane outside so I've got some books in here we just need two books one of those books we're going to make into a I'm going to use the two manuals so we're going to take one of these inferior essence here put it beside us and this will be the patch UE version of mystical agriculture so I'll look at that the other one you can do of course is the compressed iron and that will give us a PNC pneumatic craft pressurized manual second edition so, so when you open up these books like this you can see that the basics we've done a lot of these basics already i think resource resourceful crops essence, farmland watering can infusion altar fertilized essence overworld ores and growth accelerator so let's have a look at this one so it basically just increase increases the number of ticks but it doesn't tell you if it if the higher the level increases the ticks more or less we'll find out i think that's the probably part of the this series to do that so let's make a quick quickly make up one of these growth accelerators we need a diamond again we've got enough prosperity shards here um just essence for essence and so we're going to need six essence have i got six essence with me no i haven't i haven't got six essence so let's quickly go and harvest some essence actually we'll do that in the morning i'll be back in a second So let's just harvest up what we've got to the start with. I'll move these to, we don't need these into our hands to start with. Let's just click this one, plant it down again. We'll do the iron at the same time. In fact, I'll do this and I'll come back in a second with the essence that we need. Right, I've got enough essence to carry on with that. You see, actually, we've also got a fire seed. What you have to do to break these, by the way, is just to do on the outside here like this. 
and you should be able to pick up the fire essence and the fire scene just put it on the corner and then it's fine but the drones will handle that much better so I wanted to make one of these didn't I so we need to make this one first of all so we need to make the prosperity dam let's just do that um, again we'll go back to this recipe here and do that and then we should be able to make this well, I'm probably missing the stone so let's get some stone out of here um, cobblestone won't be any good with cobblestone but I could probably use some granite here for those and let's have a look do that again and then we should be able to make this up so we get three growth accelerators for that and what you can then do is you have to plant those underneath the crops and it's got a 12 by 12 range I'm just not completely convinced that the 12 by 12 range is 12 by 12 so we can't take that block obviously not so we have to come down here underwater and maybe it's better if I go up and stand up and hit and try to get that in that way at least at least one block maybe I can do even do two if I move no can't so let's get rid of this one and then just check I've got enough air to do the next one so I have good can quickly go and get recover air and then put these three down here so it says it's got a 12 by 12 race radius three so that should be enough for the time being we'll find out if it makes any difference if we see any speed growth in this row so we'll put it uh, so that row is here and it's the one on the edge of the um, iron like that so now let's go and make the the two the things we have to make for um, pneumatic after a pressurized I don't need that one with me I should have actually had two of those but I wonder where the other one went to um, pneumatic after a pressure I don't need this fire seed let's put those out of the way oh I do need to plant the f did I get two seeds or did I forget to plant the other one that no I did get two seeds so I'm using Prudentium Essence on that particular one. I'll put that in there for the time being. We don't need that. We don't need those three either. I actually got three from the one, didn't I? So it, was, it was quite a good stuff. So let's have a look at Pneumatic Grift Repressurize, because that's what the game is all about, really. And that's didn't work. So I would like to make a collector drone, which is this one which is basically a turbine rotor four turbine rotors and a hopper and the harvesting drone which i think is just a, it's just any any sort of fruit or vegetable or tree a sapling will do as well i think it's a sapling we'll also do in here no maybe not so anything we've got carrots and so that's no big deal and that will make is that the right one harvesting drone yes it is the other ones are drones logistics drones harvesting drones guard drones so we need to make eight of these um plates now what you need to do to, for four of those we need 24 redstone so we need 48 redstone okay we'll do that it'll be 16 and we need 12 uh, gold now we need 24 gold And that'll do and then we go and put those into the machine what time of day it is fine we've got plenty of time then we go and put those into here so we'll turn this on first of all and then we'll put these into this i thought i made another one of these things so we put gold and redstone into into here i'm not sure what the pressure's like at the moment I've forgotten let's have a look so we've got two bars so they should come in fairly quickly and every time it opens the door it drops pressure down as you can see so now it's got the gold in there it's dark but you can see it's gold and then it should also do the redstone I'm not sure what state that is in at the moment let's get rid of it and have a look at that one 33 so that's coming in now it actually takes a while we could speed it up with some speed upgrades but we'll do those later on so that's now opens up and as soon as it's got enough pressure hasn't got enough pressure yet it will it will start to do that wait a few seconds 
Well, that took its time. <laughs> now I've got these 24 turbines. So let's go and make up these drones. I need, um, what do I need? I need a hopper and some, some vegetable. And then we also need to make some more bits and pieces. I've forgotten to do that one. Let's have a look. Um, hoppers in here. I saw a hopper in here. And the vegetable will be in here. We can use a carrot. So we should now be able to make up the drone. So first thing we need to do is make the turbines. Now the turbines are... Um, I've forgotten the exact recipe. I think it's like this. Yes, that's the eight turbines. We use half of those and we'll put the fruit in the middle here and we'll do the harvesting one first. Like that, that's the harvesting drone. And the second one we're going to do is we want to make the um, collector drone. So that's the one with the hopper in it. And then we do the same thing with this little cross of these. So now we need to charge these up for these to work. So we need a charging station. Here's the charging station, so we need three bricks and three reinforced stone slabs and one pressure tube. Now I've run out of pressure tubes, so I'm quickly make up one of those. I think I've got some glass in here. If I haven't, I've got, let's make some sand up. Um, I'm sure I've got some glass somewhere, but maybe you know what it's like. I have actually got a mod for that, so let's have a look at this. You've got find me in here. So if I do um, glass in here, I just want some ordinary glass here like this, and then press the find button. I think that's, oh yes, look, showing where, where it is. So it's in the bottom of these two chests in here, but I can't see it. <laughs> that's strange. Not there, not there. No mind, I'll cook some more up. So I needed eight, I wanted eight pieces. So I, I'm not sure what I was doing then. So Sand is here. We only need one piece of glass to start with. We'll just get as soon as the first one comes out, we'll take it and use that. There we go. So quickly make the two pipes up all the eight pipes up, put the glass in the middle and then just put two of these across it like that and we get our eight pipes. So the other thing we needed was some bricks and some, have I got some clay in here, I've got some clay we need, I'll take out eight clay, we can make those into bricks, put that into the top one. And then we need three of these and then we needed some reinforced stone, uh oh, I've just heard a big bang, I've forgotten to turn off. One of the mistakes <coughs> is to forget to turn this thing off. We'll turn it off like that. And you'll see it's now it's losing pressure. I don't think it was too bad. I heard two bangs, so I probably lost two things. So let's just put down a pipe. So we'll look the pressure is, that's fine. Put down a pipe here like that. Oh, and the other one was here. Good. <laughs> I can link that through in. Three in now. <coughs> right. No, not too tragic. Just two pipe pieces of pressure tube that's the things we lost so that's one of the things I want to prevent today in fact I probably should even do that while I'm thinking about it now but first of all we'll finish off this one so we needed three of these reinforced slabs which is three stones which is that and then we can make up this one we've got the three pieces of bricks out of it, which we've got now so let's make this up and so we've got our charging station that's all we need for that so I'll just put away some of these bits while I'm I don't need everything I've got with me now, so let's just put away the stuff we don't want with us. I think that's fine for now. And while I'm thinking about it, having done that, let's make the pressure release valve that we have in here. Where is it? I can't see it. Maybe it's any good kind of. Again, I've got stuff in front of it, so I can't see which one it is. It's the safety valve. I think it's probably called safety or security. This one. The safety tube module. That's fairly 
tube, two two levers, one pressure tube, and a pressure gauge, which is just four pieces of gold with a compressed iron ingot. Let's do that. We should have four pieces of gold in here. Use gold up very fast, as you can see. That's why I want to get that seed going properly. So let's do that. So that was one compressed ingot in the middle, and then four gold in the cross. Nearly got that. <laughs> levers only two levers i've got four levers here that's fine so we should be able to make this up now great very important thing <laughs> we'll put it straight down on the pipes and this will prevent the pipes blowing it'll release pressure at just below five bar so we can just put it down here near to the compressors and then when this reaches five bar it's not going to blow anything up it's just going to release pressure there's a possibility of this or this pipe going I'm not sure um, but the next thing we're going to do after that is to make the next the next thing that belongs to this so let's put on here the charging station like that and then I could make two of these charging stations it probably would be quicker and let's put the drone into it and while the drones charging up collect the drone it'll charge it very slowly it's got a while to get up to five bar and it will, won't go up that fast let's go and make two more I want to make two upgrades for this I want this to, to install the standby upgrades and for that I'm going to need eight lapis I've got enough lapis to start with if we get short of the lapis we'll just make a, a a lapis seed which I think is tier three anyway um what else do we need for that we need a, a bed we need two beds so let's just sort this again so I need some wood for beds that will, three will be fine and I need some wool which I've changed its location I think the wool is now in here no maybe the wool is here no one below it I think so we need six pieces of wool and we can make our beds let's do that spruce beds it doesn't matter what type of bed it is I'm pretty sure of that uh, the one I was actually going to make was the uh, standby so let's have a look for upgrades and it's this one the standby upgrades so we need four redstone torches um, four redstone torches we need some redstone so we need eight redstone torches in total we've got six sticks we need another piece of a couple of pieces of wood let's just do this one in fact I've got them here, I don't need them. Let's take that out of there. And let's get the redstone torches made. And then we should be able to make these up. Can they make one at a time because beds don't stack? Good. And then quickly go to the drones and get those going. What this does is basically save pressure. I've got no fuel in this one, so it's probably not going up that fast. So the pressure is now just at just two bars. So let's come along here and put one of these upgrades into this drone. So it's got enough pressure in this now. Let's put the other one in. Let's do the same thing in here. Let, let this thing also get some pressure in. At the moment it's got 0.1 bar. This one has got two bar, which is enough to start with. What I need to do then is to build another charging station over the other side with a dispenser upgrade. The dispenser upgrade is the one that looks like, if I can see it, that's the inventory upgrade, we need that one, this one, the dispenser upgrade. This one I've got to go to the nether for, to get the nether course, we can probably do that next episode. And we also need two dispensers, and what we need two dispensers because I'm going to make two charging stations, one for each drone. So at the moment this has got in it 0.8 bar bit slow but probably enough to start with so let's turn this all off here let's take the drone out and let's go and get these to work it's night time so on my way I'll come asleep and I'll see you at the other farm oh as you can see things are growing nicely over here while I've been busy and hopefully over here too so what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these down in this large farm here and hopefully it'll reach some stuff it might not do so we put the harvesting drone I want to put the collected drone on the top one 
and the harvesting drone on the bottom one. The harvesting drone is here. So I'm going to shift and right click it on there and then that'll do its range. Now it might not have enough range, so we might have to make a range upgrade. I oh know it's going to do some stuff as you can see like that. And what I need to do here is I just need to put some blocks down so I can get up uh, reinforced stone. I'm sh I'll just use these reinforced stone bricks here. Of course it breaks that one there. I've got one here. And then on top of this I'm going to put the collector drone. So I'll put this down here and then shift click it into there. And that's going to pick up the items that are dropped here. Now we might find it doesn't pick up everything. As you see it's dropped a seed down there and then it comes and puts these into here like that so we've got three of those and then it's going to pick up the other one there that seed and it's going to put the seed into here as well so if that's finished with let me just break these two down probably could do that with a quick way and then i can replace this so in this chest here i've got hose so i've chosen stone hose to do this one because they're cheap at the moment we don't have that much resources um, and my ordinary hoe is where's my ordinary hoe I can't see it for trying there it is oh I pushed it into the chest but I can also do that of course so put the, that one into the chest and that will then rehydrate here so I've got water located in here and I think that's everything there's one missed it dropped a couple didn't it it's not got quite enough range as the um, the collector drone so we'll Oh, maybe it has got enough range and I've just messed it up. So what we'll do is we'll make, I'll do another one for over here as well. But I'll do that off camera. We don't need to see that process. But we do need the gold, so we're a bit short of gold. It took 24 gold last time, I haven't got that much now. Um, I thought I broke two of these down. Oh, maybe the drone picked the other one up and put it into the chest. Quite possibly. So the other thing I wanted to make today was an, another f another mystical agriculture thing, a, fur a furnace here. Let's just do this. We can take our furnaces here and upgrade those furnaces using mystical agriculture. So let's have a look at that one. So it's got f five different levels. This one, as you can see, is basically it speeds the, the time up by... Uh, 20 percent 120 percent so it's a bit faster than the ordinary one next time it goes up faster still and it uses less fuel third one is even less fuel and even more faster until you get to the imperium one which is seven times faster almost and this one is 40 times faster and uses um an eighth of the fuel so in other words one coal would do 64 i think that's how it works out maybe i'm wrong maybe it's 6400 so let's get doing this one. So what I want to do is quickly make this one up in here like that. And we make it up. It's very straightforward, just the stuff that we've done before. And I'm going to put this down into the place. And I feed, feed it with some coal. So anything that we cook in here will be faster than the other one. That's what I wanted to do today. These two are about, will be a bit on the slow side. In fact, I didn't, I couldn't, when I was looking for glass, if you remember rightly, it was here. It was just here. So let's just do that again. And when you press Y on this, as I think as it's programmed, it does show you where it is. I was going, I can't see it. And then it highlights this one here with a yellow background. So the yellow background that I think I didn't see, I think it was something else. So what else do we want to do today? I want to make some range upgrades for the for those drones. The range upgrades are this one. So we need basically eight arrows because I want to make two drones, uh, eight lapis and two bows should be we should have enough ingredients for everything we need for that let's make up some sticks to start with got two another mm, let's make seven of those probably more than enough and then we need some lapis we need eight pieces of lapis and then we needed some bows don't we so that was string so we need six pieces of string got plenty in here from the so we can do all of that, no problem whatsoever. Next time I'd like to upgrade this watering can to the next level. If you look at the watering can for the next level, there's a 5x5 five five area. It makes things go a lot faster. Right, so bows. Let's do the bows first of all. Didn't quite work. I haven't got enough sticks. Let's get the sticks first of all. That's probably the best thing to do, isn't it? 56 sticks plus those, that's 58, yep. So we want to do... 
bows. Let's just do it like this. And bring the st 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 string down that. We can make those two bows in one go. Arrows. We want to make some arrows, don't we? So we need some flint and some feathers. I've got 38 actually, but that's no problem. So we should be able to make up the range upgrades. I'm going to make two range upgrades to start with. I'll do that recipe again. And see how they go in terms of the drones. Now the next thing we should make, actually one of the very first things we should make, we should make a um, a wrench. Let's do that one. This one. So what do we need for that? We need just not orange dye. That's yellow and red. That's no big deal. And a pressure can. Can we make that up? Just yes, we can. So we need a pressure can. What was I missing? Um, redstone. What else did I need in this one? Orange dye was the other thing. So we can make this this one up. Orange dye, we need a yellow and a red flower. We've got a red, yellow flower here, and we've got a red flower nowhere. Take a, let's take a rose, put the rose down, and with some bone meal we'll get a definitely enough red dye for that. So bone meal. Have we? I've got some bone meal somewhere. Let's put that into. Let's make some more bone meal. Let's come out here. It's getting to night time again, which probably means I'm getting towards the end of the episode. Put the rose down here. Let's take the bone meal. Right, click that and get another one. And then with this one, we can then simply use that one to make two red dye. Let's take the yellow dye. Make two yellow dye. So we can basically combine those two together. Should give us orange. We get two orange dye. And then we should be able to make up the a wrench. Well, we've well, gone. That happened then. Let's go to the wrench here and craft that up. That uses another lever, which is fine. We've got plenty of levers. So let's go and charge this up now. I think I have to go and charge it up in the morning. I'll see you in a second. Coming towards the end of the episode, 32 minutes, but I'll carry on until I've finished doing what I'd like to do. So let's just put the wrench into here like this. I'll turn this on while we're here. I didn't, haven't done what I wanted to do with these, which is a shame, uh, which was basically to automate it, automate it a bit. And I haven't put any coal in this, but I did bring some charcoal with me today, so let's get that one going as well. So we're up to three bars, so that should be okay. And this has got in 1.4 bar, that's more than enough to start with. Let's take this out of here. And then let's go and get those two drones and put those into those those two drones. We'll put into that the... Um, what I need. I forgot what it is now. I'll see you in a second when I've got them. So simply just shift right click them. Basically it kills them but it's an easy way to kill them. And again here. And that one actually dropped a hoe. So we'll put the hoe back into here. If I right click this I've got to be careful to twist it around. So the hoe it dropped was possibly which one I've got to. That one there. Hasn't done much yet. What I wanted to do of course was to put the range upgrades in. Um, so it makes a lot of sense to actually build a compressor and do that here. But I think I'll do that and come back in a few seconds. So I can only put the, the range upgrade into the um, collector drone. I thought I could put it into here as well, but maybe not. So it's a standby upgrade. If I look at the upgrades on here, we can... No, we can't put range into this one. We could put a volume upgrade, a speed upgrade. We can't put range. So that's tough. <laughs> But it's charging up slowly. Let's go and put these back. But the collector drones are really the one I want to make sure that I don't lose anything. So the harvesting drone goes here. I need a better way to get up to put the, the um, collecting drone up. And every time I come along here to break everything, that's a bit poor, isn't it? Never mind. We'll just do that. Reinforced stone shouldn't break when we put it down. Let's put the collecting drone down here. I can also put magnet in this one as well. So that's going to sleep until things get done. So let's break this dough down. And then we have to hoe the ground again. Hopefully that's the last time I have to do that. I'll have to find a better way of doing this. 
So they're waiting now until something grows over here. This must be out of range. Probably be by one row. So let's just take the watering can now. I've actually gone over my time a little bit. And let me just make sure I've turned this off as well. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. Yes, it's off. So if I water up these, stand in the middle here. So I'm going to have to come around and do these manually. The range is 17 by 17. So this was 10 blocks out. Didn't take much longer. There we go. So the harvesting drone does take a few seconds before it comes along and harvests. And I've just picked up the stuff in my own inventory, which I didn't want to do. I should do that one over there as well. But it goes through a cycle. But a cycle is it basically does its harvesting and then goes to waits a bit, then goes to sleep, and then will start again when it's actually a few seconds later on. So this time the item this one should collect this stuff that it's got in here. As you can see, it's collecting everything. And in this one, we could then put a volume upgrade or an inventory upgrade into this. <laughs> what did it do then? <laughs> it sort of fell. Did it do any harm to itself? No, it did actually, because it should have 20. So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Next time I really will need to do the automation on these uh, on the compressors so that they stop over time. Until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now. Yeah.